Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add product reviews on Shopify. I'm going to be showing you step by step exactly how to do this and it is all completely for free with a app provided directly from Shopify. So that's what I'm going to be showing you here in this video tutorial today. Ultimately, the ultimate goal on your website is to have it look like this demo store here where you have your star reviews and ratings showing up which helps, you know, prove that that you have customers, it helps show social proof, and it allows people to go in and actually add the customer reviews and being able to add reviews to your e-commerce store, your online store, and your product listing. So that is what we're going to be achieving in today's tutorial and exactly step-by-step -step how to get this showing up on your Shopify store, once again, completely for free directly through an app created by Shopify. Now, if you don't already have a Shopify store and you do want to get set up, I do have a link down in the description box below. That first link in the description will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We can get started with Shopify for free today. If you don't already have a Shopify store, once again, that's at brennanbleski.com forward slash Shopify. It'll take you right over to your Shopify free trial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the, tuto to the tutorial. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are on your Shopify dashboard, all logged into your Shopify store. Next, you're going to come over to the section here called apps and you're going to want to search for review. Now there's going to be, or review reviews, uh, there's going to be a, a bunch of different uh, results that come up. The one you're going to want to look for is the product reviews app by Shopify. I will leave a link down in the description box below as well in case you can't find it, but really just searching for reviews on the Shopify app store. Uh, it's the product reviews by Shopify. This is the one that we're looking for. This is the, you know, free to use one completely hundred percent free and it is created by Shopify. Now it's a little bit more basic than say some of the other product review apps, but it is completely free and very simple and easy to use. Once again, you know, it helps increase sales of reviewed products. You can improve your SEO results and a flexible design as well. And the product reviews app has gotten some updates as well more recently to work with Shopify's latest themes and to make sure that everything looks sleek. As you can see here, within the demo store that the Shopify product reviews app has. So you can actually get your star ratings and put them exactly where you want. I'm gonna be showing you just a second. So that is what we are achieving here. As you can see, you have an overall backend. You can have your reviews set up. You can import them, export them uh, as well. Just nice and simple and easy to use. A very, you know, bare bones, basic, just easy to understand. So I'm gonna be showing you how to add them into your online store in just a second. But ultimately, that is the app that you want, is the one created by Shopify. So all you have to do then is click on add app, and then this will add it to your Shopify store. Once it loads, as you can see here, so product reviews by Shopify, we're gonna add that to the test store here. We're gonna click install app, and boom. Then you now have the reviews app in your Shopify store. So before reviews will actually show up on your online store, there's a couple steps you do need to take in order to uh, get everything working on the front end of your site, of course. So you do need to customize the theme, which I'm gonna be showing you right now how to do that here to get everything that you need for the blocks. Now it's important to mention, you it may or may not work for you unless you make sure you click this button here to verify and continue, you know, verify that app blocks are actually working. I know some people have problems with that, so just make sure, you know, verify that uh, the blocks are actually working. You know, you have to add them in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now before actually, you know, clicking the button. But you're gonna wanna make sure that, you know, your products are unhidden and you actually have the app added to your product page for the product reviews. So what we're gonna do is go into theme customizations. We're going to go ahead and click on online store and then it will bring up the themes. We're going to click customize on the Dawn theme. This will bring up the editor. Then we're gonna to want to go over to a product page. So we're just gonna select default product. So this will just take you to any of your product listings. Then you're gonna go in and add the block here. And now, as you can see here, you have reviews and star ratings popping up in your app block. So this is how you test to make sure everything is working properly. So all you have to do is then click down here to add block and you can then add in the star rating here, right underneath the 
uh, product description. Boom, and then it loads in there. And then that as showing here is basically the same type of setup. You can either add it under the product pricing, under the product title, just depends on what you wanna do. Uh, you know, you can move it down to the next position, uh, depending on where you want your star ratings to appear. So we're gonna leave it there uh, right below the pricing after the shipping calculated at checkout. Of course, there's a variety of different places depending on your theme setup that you may want to place this, uh, but we're just gonna save that there. So we have star rating. Of course, there's currently no reviews on this product specifically, but this will then update on every product listing you have as long as they're within a default uh, product setting in your uh, templates. Now, if you just do things basic and you don't create any custom templates, then it should apply to all of the products that you have just in your online store by default. So you add your star rating there. And of course you also have additional customization. So you can in, you know, increase the star size to see, Hey, maybe you want your star ratings to look a little bit bigger. You know, you can improve the sizing there. You can have them centered. You can also have them left or right justified with the alignment. So we're going to go left justified sort of, cause that's kind of like the overall layout here. And then you can also change the star color. So you can have it as black. You could have it as blue or even gold. Like most people probably want something a little bit more yellow or gold colored, sort of like a, more like a, I guess, sort of like an Amazon star, maybe a more bit of an orange. So you can kind of do that here as well. If you want it to stand out a little bit more than just a default black. So you can say, you know, badge text with no reviews. It's going to say no reviews. You can also uh, customize it. If you don't want it to say no reviews, you could say like write a review or something like that. Uh, if it has no reviews, then, you know, you could, you could suggest people to write a review, uh, if they've maybe already purchased that product or something like that. So, uh, that's one way to, you could do that and customize the text there. So you have a lot of options here with how your star ratings actually look on your product listing as well, which is really cool, uh, that you have that additional, uh, flexibility, um, depending on how you want it to look on your specific, uh, e-commerce store on your Shopify store. So boom, so we have that there. And then next, what we're going to do to add the detailed uh, section here is you're gonna wanna scroll down a bit after product information. So we have image with text. We also have the share button. So underneath image with text, that could be like additional uh, settings or something like that. You have uh, you know different blocks. You could add theme blocks. So we're gonna go up here and then add in the reviews. So this will add in the detailed reviews section. Uh, as you can see here, there it pops up. Now this, once you have actual reviews, it will then show up as you can see here on the demo store uh, with these specific customer reviews laid out as well um, in detail. So instead of just having the star rating, you know, people go and click on this and then it will bring them down here into the more detailed review section where they can also write a review and look at those reviews as well. So that's the next thing you're gonna wanna add is make sure you add that reviews block. Now, generally it needs to be within the product information tab um, for it to show up. As you can see, you know, adding it within the image and text, it did not work. So make sure you add it in there. Now, if you go into the reviews section, as you can see here, not really much customization there. The majority of the customization is here with the way that the star ratings look. Of course, it's up to you depending on how you want that to look, but then you're gonna wanna just make sure you have the detailed customer reviews here so that they actually populate on the page as well. So there, once you have that, you can go ahead and click save. And currently I'm using the Dawn theme with Shopify. Uh, this does work on other Shopify themes as well, as long as they're on the online store 2.0 setup, then you know you basically have that same technology there. So we're gonna go ahead and click exit. And then next we're going to go back to the product reviews app as well, just to go in here. So as you can see, we haven't re uh, received any reviews yet. Uh, you can also go into your settings for the reviews and change whether or not you want them to be uh, automatically published on your site or if you want to manually publish them. You know, I, I would suggest personally do it as disabled so that, you know, you have to manually publish new reviews just in case, you know, you might get review spammed or someone might leave, uh, you know, spam really ultimately that's a, a good spam filter is just so that you can make sure that these are legitimate and whatnot and so that you know you could also just leave it on on automatic but 
you know, because the new reviews are checked for spam, but you know, sometimes that spam filter may not catch everything. So it, it, in my opinion, it's good to just be able to manually publish them, make sure that they are good, uh, genuine reviews. Uh, you can also select to have an email sent to you whenever a review is submitted as well, which is cool. Uh, and then in here, of course, these are for, you know, older themes, if you need them to be a custom color or a theme color, uh, like I showed you in today's tutorial, that is on the Dawn theme, which is in the online store 2.0 theme. So you edit that directly in the theme settings. Like I showed you, this would be, if you have an older theme that isn't on online store 2.0, then this is where you would edit your star icon color, whether you want it to be gold, blue, black, whatever color that you want, you can edit that here. If you're on an older theme then as well, you also have the uh, settings to edit the review listing layout uh, as well. So this is where you would edit that section down below here. This is where you would edit that section if you want it to look a little bit different and change out like the padding or the reviews per page as well as the colors as well. You can also edit the text as you can see here. Now, personally, I like to leave a lot of that stuff default because you know, it, it's pretty solid just leaving this as default. But if you want to go in and edit that, of course, if you want to change the headline, customer reviews, writer review, if you want to change those things, you can do that. And you have the option to do that here as well. And then you have review form text, you know, seeing the author's email, you know, making sure that that is entered in, making that required, the author's name and the message as well uh, as the review star rating and the title. So just having all of that information here, depending on, you know, each step of the process, if you want to add any custom things like, you know, by default, it'll just say, thank you for submitting a review. You know, you can say, you know, thank you for uh, submitting a review. And then you could even add in like, here's a 10% off coupon code uh, for you. You could leave that here as well. If you wanted to give them like a 10% coupon code, just because they ended up leaving a review. Um, you know, that's an option there if you want to do something like that. Uh, it just depends on how you want to operate your store, if there's any other uh, things that you want to add in. Of course, you can reset the settings here or export uh, reviews as well. So we're going to go ahead and click save as well here. So then that is pretty much it for product review settings. Um, you know, you can import reviews as well if you want, but this is really just a solid reviews app to make things nice and easy and simple within Shopify. It's once again, directly through Shopify. It's completely free to use and you can add these, uh, reviews in and yeah, pretty good setup. So this is how you get product reviews on your Shopify store. Once again, if you don't already have a Shopify store and you're just looking into things, I would recommend checking out that first link down in the description box below. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. That's brianbaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to your Shopify free trial if you want to get set up with them and you're just doing some research. But guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.